Welcome to the 2021 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We've been super busy here showing off all of our brand new product, but we didn't want to pass up the opportunity to show you the Heritage 261 Center Console. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and watch out for the full walkthrough coming up soon. The bow of the Heritage 261 is designed with comfort in mind. We do have plenty of storage. We actually have three boxes up here, one on each side, as well as a large center box. Up at the front, we do have a windlass with foot controls at the bow, as well as at the helm. Behind that, we do have an electronically actuated table. As you may have seen in some of our other boats, you can lower this all the way down or midway with the filler pad or all the way up to act as a table. Plenty of cup holders, speakers, and a nice recessed handrail. One important thing to note about the bow of this boat is that we've recessed the bolsters to allow for a wider seat, giving you a very comfortable bow seating area. Moving back from that console front, we have a very nice size drink cooler box under the seat. Wrapping around this console may look familiar to you. It is one of our newer consoles with the integrated D-tubing, but because this is a larger boat, we do have more headroom inside of the head. You have plenty of access to the back of the electronics as well as a freshwater toilet. Moving around back to the electronics and the helm, we include a 12 inch Garmin and the boat we're on today does have the second optional screen. It adds awesome real estate. We also have digital switching as well as the Apollo 670 standard with JL audio speakers. However, the boat we're on today does have the upgrade, which is the Apollo 770 M6 speakers and the MVI amps with DSP. We also include standard Yamaha's digital electric steering, trim tabs, and of course, tons of cup holders and storage and everything else. Now, taking a look at the leaning post for this boat, we do have battery storage underneath and over the top, we do have our upgraded helm chairs. They do slide, but they also swivel. We put them on swivel so you can face aft. And that's what we call our sandbar mode. And as you've seen in some of our larger models, we do have dual side entry doors, dual fuel fills. And on this boat for sandbar mode, we also have dual walkthroughs at the transom with dual boarding ladders on both sides. Now the rear seating area on this boat features an edge to edge four or five person bench across the back. Now more importantly than that is that the outside parts can be removed, giving you full access for a water centric view when you are in sandbar mode. For total access hatch on this boat, you can open up the middle compartment, revealing incredible access to the bilge and other important components of the boat. Two more tricks on this boat. In the aft port side, we do have a cooler for the sandbar days. The drinks are accessible from outside the boat when the boat is anchored up. And over on the starboard side, we have dedicated stern anchor storage. Of course, one important part of being at the sandbar is being able to anchor up, and we do include that stern anchor with its dedicated storage. Now, we did want to add one more trick to this boat, and what we went with is the telescoping ski pole. It does tie into the stringer system for incredible strength, and it's going to bring a lot of joy to many families. Let's talk about power for this boat. You've got three options. You've got the single 425 like the boat we're on today, but you can also equip it with twins, either 150s or 200s. So as you can see, this boat is ready for you, the family, sandbar, and awesome days out on the water. If you have any questions on this model or any sportsman boat, visit sportsmanboatsmfg.com or contact your local dealer. Thanks for watching.